All right, so question number nine. A disc of mass, so they give you mass here, mass of the disc, right, 1.6 kg and the diameter is given, diameter is 0.4 meter. It's spinning with the angular velocity 4, so they give you omega, but this one is a revolution per second, RPS, revolution per second. Then 0 0.5 kg mass drop, uh, so we have M2, lah. so this is M1, so the M2 is dropped and stuck in the rim of the disc. Calculate the new angular velocity. So they ask you to find omega nu. Lah. And they give the moment of initial of this is i equals to half m r squared. So this is the last subtopic of this chapter. Uh, so for assignment in question number 4. Lah. Okay, we will use the uh, conservation of angular momentum. So number 9a. Okay, we use the conservation of angular momentum. Okay, kenapa we use the momentum? Actually, this is about this. Okay, this is spinning, right? The spinning. And then suddenly ada drop. So somewhat is drop. So when it's drop, the mass will become different. Lah. So the angular velocity also will become different. Uh, so this is your initial, this is your final. So we use the conservation of angular momentum. L initial, sorry, L initial equals to L final. Okay, so initial we only have the this. So I omega. This is the formula eh? L equals to I omega only for this. So this and this. I put D, D, this, this. And then for final, I this plus I uh, drop, uh, mass of drop, so, uh, I particular, I P. So omega nu. So this is the omega that we want to find lah ini omega yang you nak cari because uh, dia akan masihkan omega baru so of we call it as omega final lah ni initial ni final. Okay, so what the I this they give to you is half m r squared omega this. Uh, they give you tadi spinning adalah 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 here is dalam revolution. So you put 0 0.4 lah dalam revolution. So you darat 2 pi lah. So because we want to change into red. Mesti tukar SI unit ya. We want to change di dalam bentuk red. Per second lah. Second you don't have to change because di dalam per second. So equals to. So half m r squared plus the i here. Uh, we are talking about the i of the particle. So the i of the particle is unknown. Kita tak tahu shape particle ni apa. So any particle that uh, general, we use the general formula. So i lah, i adalah submission mr squared. So we will use mr squared. Uh, formula yang general lah, ini formula general. Kalau dia kata uh, kucing, uh, apa, uh, human, duduk atas this, yes, this is the this is the general formula, ini general formula untuk moment of inertia. Okay, omega final is the one that we want to find lah. Okay, we can't cancel anything. You jangan nak cancel M, M, M. No, because this M and this M is different thing. Okay, kita substitute nilai. So, half the mass of the uh, 1.6. The this is 1.6 and the diameter is 0 0.4. So, divide by 2. 0 0.2 lah. Squared. So, here is 0 0.4 times 2 pi because I want to already change into red. So, this one we can get the value. So half uh, is the same even the the drop something drop atas dia dia masih lagi mass yang sama and the uh, radius also same okay the mass of the 0 0.4 right okay 0 0.4 the r here so the drop kat mana ni kita tengok balik soalan dia drop kat mana uh, the then a 0 0.4 mass is drop and stuck in the rim of the disc Okay, so dia dah not mention eh, the drop kat mana eh. Okay, so kalau dia tak mention the drop kat mana, use, using the this lah, this punya yang biasa lah, 0 0.2 squared. Okay, so this one will become your omega final. So this is the one that we want to find lah, omega final. Alright, so kita tekan calculator. Okay, this one. Ha, yang ni kita buat secara biasa lah, kita buat yang dulu. So, uh, one over. 1 over 2, so we times with 1.6, times with 0 0.2, 0 0.2 squared, times with 0 0.4, you know, this one's 4, times 2 pi, 2 pi, okay, so this pi okay, equal, so I get this, okay, and then, so this part, okay, this part, so they are going to divide, right, so divide, Okay, so how do we do this? 
half or no, you know, okay, half, half, uh, so times 1.6 times 0 0.2. I think if I use this, like it's now, yeah. <laughs> so plus, uh, cupcakes. 0 0.4 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 square so into the bracket so 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 we get the value here so this is my answer 1 1.6 uh, 1.68 1.68 uh, this is your omega final and the unit is read as negative one uh, so we don't have power like uh, so this is your answer Alright, question number B. A skater, oh, a skater is they give you turning omega here three uh, red as negative one with both arm outstretched. Arm outstretched lah, the double. So she have a moment of inertia. So this is the eye. Her arm are now drawn so that her new moment of inertia is this. Calculate the angular velocity. So mula mula we have uh, this girl. Uh, dia punya first dia punya arm adalah outstretched. And then this is the initial lah. Uh, so final dia, dia punya tangan dia dia uh, drawn. So tangan dia jadi kecil lah sebab dia nak increase kan actually dia punya omega. Kalau kita tengok uh, diving ke, orang yang diving kan terjun kan. Dengan orang yang skating, kalau dia nak laju, dia akan kena drawn lah. Dia punya tangan tu kena dapat. Okay, so again, this one adalah chapter, subtopik terakhir. So kita akan guna conservation of angular momentum. So anything yang tak ada macam puli apa semua tadi kita akan guna ni lah ok saya guna kala lain lah ya ok so uh, so my eye adalah dia sama je because di both dia tak ada siapa-siapa drop macam case tadi dia ada orang drop so this one is the same cuma you akan jadi buat I omega I so this one final omega final ok dia akan ada perubahan lah so I initial you akan jadi because this is human uh, ini adalah human so kita akan guna mr squared but they already give you the i moment of inertia mula-mula which is 4 so they give you mula-mula is 4 and they give you is 3 lah dia punya initial kan turning to okay and her arm now is drawn then they give you moment of inertia is 1.8 so they ask you oh, sangat senang tu soalan ni okay so yang ni kita tengok macam mana dia kira ni sangat senang lah so yang ini 4 times 3 so you get the answer so you divide by 1.8 lah so you get the answer is 6.67 so your answer is 3.67 and you need for this one is read as negative one so this is the answer all right the last question okay number 10 a horizontal disc rotate as exit that passes vertical through at the center of the disc at the angular so they give you omega here lah, 100 rpm a small particle 10 eh, it's the same lah, macam soalan tadi lah so they bagi you particle a new particle 10 gram is dropped into a disc 9 cm from the axis and stick in the disc the angular velocity dropped to this is also your this is your omega final lah, ini omega initial this is your omega final determine the moment of initial of the disc about the axis so they ask you to find moment of initial of the this eh? this we are talking about this so this question they ask you to find i lah so number 10 they ask you to find i this this easy this so they ask you to find this again this is the last topic we will use the formula conservation of angular momentum okay what initial we only have we only have the this uh, first we only have the this like initial we only have the this and final we have the this and a particle p lah, yeah. so y initial omega initial equals to i final but then here we have two i lah. so one uh, here is only this 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 one this and particle and it's moving with the same angular velocity final Okay, so I don't have I this. I have omega this, uh, which is 100. But this will give you RPM. So RPM, since everything is RPM, so you don't have to change because you can cancel. So I this, 100 RPM. So just bear in mind, this is RPM. So I this plus I particle. So they give, is it they give you no know, particle? No. But let I say, is any general formula for moment of inertia is submission mr squared lah. so it's become mr squared 
so your omega is 19 rpm okay so this is my formula okay i want to make i this as my subject eh? so i this 100 rpm so equals to i this plus your mass here is 10 grams so 10 times power of negative 3 so r is given 9 ni 9 cm lah dia duduk 9 cm uh, so 9 times 10 negative 2 squared okay to two and then so we get 9 19 rpm okay so how we want to do this okay if you don't want to make yourself computers using calculator, kita dah terror dah guna calculator, betul tak? Saya harap semua orang gunalah, make use lah. The one, the calculator yang you ada ni. Rugi kalau you tak guna. Okay, so kita akan calculator 100x. So, it's 100x. Uh, x here is x. So, 10 power of negative 3. So, make sure your uh, kurungan ni betul lah. 9 power of negative 2. So, you time with 90 lah. So, you will get, make sure you tekan shift solve lah. So, this is not your final answer. So, make sure they were told me. So, you get 7.29. 7.29 power of negative 4 kgm squared. So, that is your answer. Alright. So, I hope you understand uh, about this topic. And so, good luck for your assignment.